Welcome to another how-to video for 12 Red Tech. This is how to put memory into a Dell laptop. This model is a Latitude D830. I'm going to show you how to put the memory into the front and the back for the top and the bottom. In this case, we're going to do the bottom. We have a compartment right here. We go ahead and take this screw out. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you'll notice that there are two wings right here. You just pop these wings like that, and the memory pops up. And you can take your thumbs and slide the memory out like this, and it comes right out. When you're putting the memory back in, you can line the teeth up. You'll see there's a little peg right here, and there's a, peg, a little slot right here, and you line them up like this. You press in, wiggle it up and down a little bit to make sure it's seated, and then press down gently until you hear two snaps. You'll see that the you can inspect and make sure that these metal wings have reside over the edge of the memory. That metal wing right there, that metal wing right there, and it's locked in place now. And then you can put your finger back here, wiggle it just a little more, make sure it's seated. Take your memory cover. Place it in, fill up the screwdriver, gently screw that back down, doesn't need to be too tight. Now to do the top, which is under the keyboard. This is a very simple thing, it's intimidating to some people, it's not that hard people, it's very easy to do. You can use a pick or in my case a flat screwdriver. This is a Craftsman Professional 330 seconds by two and a half. So it's a flathead. If you look right here, you'll see there's a slot so that you can pop this off, which exposes the screws which holds the keyboard on. You pop this up like that, just gently pull up, and it pops off, snaps off. This exposes the screws. It's one screw, two, Three. So you've got one, two, and three Phillips head screws. Same screwdriver. You can get this from crucial.com. They sell them on their website. Go ahead and take this one out. You gotta be careful. And you don't one thing I don't do is I don't drag my hand over the compartment in case I drop the screw. So you go like this, put it over here on a clear surface where you're not gonna bump into it. Take out the middle one, place that screw right there, take out the third and final screw, set this stuff down, take my flathead screwdriver, and then I go over here to the side of the keyboard, and it pops up right, right there. And once that side's popped up, you can set the flathead down, slide this side out a little bit, and then the rest of the keyboard follows suit. You just lean this forward just a little bit like that. Not too hard because it has a little ribbon here that's a connector for the keyboard to the motherboard. There's the memory stick. There's the two metal wings just like on the bottom. Take your fingers, pop the wings off and the memory pops up. Slide the memory out. You get your new memory to put back in. You line it up. It has the slot right here. And if you look, there's a slot right there. So you line those up. It seats in place. There's nothing tricky about it. It doesn't have to be pressed in too hard. Press down. The two wings slide over the edge here and here. Take the keyboard, place the bottom in first. It's got little slots. Then go over to the left, press it down. Go over to the right, press it down. Then you grab your Phillips, grab one screw. And I put it like this.
gently tighten that down just a little bit. Doesn't have to be too tight. That's the middle one. Let me go and we grab the last one. The last one. I'm going to put into place. Like that. Tighten that down. There are all three in place. You can press the keyboard a little bit to make sure that it's properly seated. You start on the left now with your cover. It's got two little pegs, little slats right there. And they go in here. You slide those like that. And then you press down like this. And then it just kind of presses down like that. And then you just make sure it's down. Press up here a little bit, up here, press down here. over. Go ahead and close this. You flip it up and you look right here to make sure it's properly seated right here. That plastic cover. If it is, you're in business. And that is it. Power it up for a self-test and you're in business. Thank you for viewing another 12 Red Tech video.